were down in Florida, was a, a guy, what was his name? Uh, didn't talk to nobody, he was like 75 years old. His name was Victor. Victor. He was our next door neighbor. <laughs> and he used to, <laughs> Chrissy had to have it anyway, if he was in an a, a elevator with her, no, there'd be 10 people, and she, the first thing she'd do would be looking up saying, hi, my name's Christy. Hi, my name's Christy. And, that, and she just wouldn't stop until she got a response out. Finally, after about a week, he smiled at her and started talking to her. And from that moment on, he was locking on the door and saying, can I play my banjo? And can, you know, I'll leave the door open in my apartment. He lived next door. And I, you know, she just, she made people feel good about themselves, even when she was a little kid. That, she was, that, that's about the bottom line, right? first impression of Lewis was um, he walked in here to meet my parents for the first time and he had a full suit on with a flower um, on his lapel mm -hmm. and uh, he was a little overdressed but he came with chocolates and flowers and he really outdid himself but mm -hmm. he's kind of been doing that every ever since. Yeah. I feel yeah. like he's always bringing something extra to our family. pressure's on they're like listen the great you know a perfect like Lou a perfect woman doesn't exist you got to lower your standards this is my family right my heart, I stood true to what I felt I deserved and um it wasn't my time and it was God's time that I met Christy and she is the perfect woman for me we honestly uh we can't thank you enough and um and the perfect woman does exist at least for me it does and that comes in Christy. Yeah.